Hey guys, so do any of you remember those viewfinders you had when you were a kid? Well today we're going to modernize that. I'm going to show you how you can turn your smartphone into your own personal 3D viewer with common materials found around the house. All you need for this project is some tape, two mini magnifying glasses, or even some old glasses lenses will work if they're strong enough, a smartphone, some scissors, and some thick paper or cardboard. The first step is to trace out your phone, then flip it on its side and draw a line, then turn it flat and draw another line, and finally once more on its thin side. You should have two flat tracings and two side tracings. Now draw a line from where the screen bezel is at each end. Now cut it out like this. Next, wrap it around your phone and secure it with some tape. It should be able to slide in and out, but not fall out. Also, the screen should not be covered and be fully functional. Next, trace out the phone twice the long way and twice the short way, then cut it out. The height of the paper will depend on the power of your magnifying glass. Next, fold the paper into a box and cut down one section about half an inch. This will allow you to use the phone when it's in the viewer. Make sure the box fits around the phone like this. Then tape the box to the phone holder and make sure the phone can still slide in and out. Once it's secure, cut another piece of paper as long as the box, but more than twice the height. Now bend that in half and mark where it comes level with the box. Now fold both sides out from there and tape it to the middle of the box. Now each eye can only see one half of the screen. Alright, cut another piece of paper as big as your smartphone and cut some holes as big as the magnifying glasses where your eyes will go. The easiest way to attach the magnifying glasses to the paper is just to put some clear tape across the holes and push the magnifying glasses down. Now comes the tricky part. You have to adjust the magnifying glasses until the screen comes in focus. Then cut down or add more of the box to reach the length where the screen is in focus. Then finally just tape down the eyepiece and tape anything else down that is loose. And you're done. Now you can watch 3D video in a stereoscopic view, such as this. This works by using two cameras to record the video from two different angles, one for each eye, and playing them back so each eye sees a slightly different perspective video. Another type of 3D is Wiggle 3D, which just plays two images back and forth to give the perception of 3D. Anyways, you can download cool apps such as My3D, which has virtual reality 3D games that you can play like this cool shark game. As you move around, so does the game. It's not quite the Oculus Rift but for something free and homemade, it's not bad. I've also linked some cool 3D videos in the description. If you decide to make one, you can go check those out. Well, let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments below. I hope you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe and like me on Facebook to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.